Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, September 2023 prediction reading for Cancer. This is going to be uh, this is going to be in uh, any replacements uh, because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So we're going to take and see what uh, take a look and see what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for September, and then we'll take a look and see what you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, I do post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about cancer. Cancer. What does cancer need to know? What's surrounding cancer for September 2023? For cancer. For cancer here. Okay, we have the hermit here. Virgo energy. Seems like you guys are going within yourself here. Okay, Knight of Wands. Seems like you guys are definitely trying to figure out your life or figure out which direction you're going here. You know, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like you've been in this kind of like go, 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 go energy, but I feel like you're slowing down. And yeah, there's definitely some sort of pursuit of happiness here. You know, there's definitely, uh, you know, de there's definitely uh, re uh, working on releasing any sort of trauma, any sort of pain, any sort of hurt that you've been dealing with here or that you've dealt with here recently or in the past. Three of Swords here and the Two of Wands. Yeah, you know, I do feel like there's some sort of stuckness here. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of stuckness here where you've been stuck in this energy for a long time. And now I feel like you're slowing down. You're slowing down. You're just like taking some time out, looking within, your, looking within yourself, asking yourself at this time, Cancer, what do you need? What do you want? You know, and how can you get to these certain they uh, get to the um this place you know how, how how do you get to what you want you know how do you get to what you need here at this time right so the uh, hermit here and the ace of wands the knight of wands and the page of swords libra aquarius gemini here some of you guys could be working on healing that inner child here yeah it's like a light bulb went off. It's like you realize that, you know what, I need to do this in order for me to actually, you know, I need to do this because this is part of my healing here. I need to work on this. I need to move on from anything that, or let go of anything that I'm still holding on to, that I'm not conscious of, that I, you know, just need to work on, okay? Page of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, the Nine of Wands here, and the High Priestess, can uh, Cancer, Pisces energy, the Nine of Cups here, and the Six of Pentacles. I mean, you're definitely tapping into or connecting with your higher self. You're going within and connecting with your higher self here. You're using your intuition to figure out what is it that's still buried under the surface that needs to be moved. You know, I just feel like there's some stuff, there's some really traumatic things that happened in your life that you still haven't really um you know um faced yet and i feel like it's coming up to the surface uh we are in the pre-shadow phases of mercury retrograde because you know mercury retrograde is just not you know x is coming back is whatever things that you've dealt with in the past that you haven't dealt with will come back up to the surface yeah so the three of swords here we have the higher fin here taurus energy the two of wands here and the six of wands two plus seven is no, two plus five is seven. I mean, with the Hierophant here, you know, some of you guys could be turning to someone for help too. Yeah, you know, I do feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like right now you guys are just in this very, this energy of really just standing up for yourself uh, and, and, and just working on you at this time, really stepping up to the plate here, also seeking those answers from within from your guides and your angels and your ancestors, from the divine here. 
So I feel like you're working with all these modalities here regarding releasing and letting go and healing here. Okay, so um, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy, the Emperor, Aries, Energy here. What else do we have here for Cancer? What else do we have here for Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know? Look out for work on here for September 2023 for Cancer, for Cancer. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles here and the Ten of Wands. Major cycles closing out here. There are a lot of Tens here with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Three of Wands and the Five of Swords here and the King of Pentacles here. I mean, there's definitely financial fulfillment and abundance coming in for you. I mean, whatever it, this is, I do feel like you're definitely doing a lot of releasing. Yeah, you're releasing a lot of things here. I mean, this could be a, you know, even like a soul release, you know, maybe, you know, there could be spirits in or around you that needs to be released, you know, um, you know, it could be your own personal releases, such as karmic releases, past life releases, you know. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Three of Wands. Okay. And the Five of Swords here and the King of Pentacles. I mean, sometimes, you know, you know, the, the Five of Swords is a representation of like mind games here, you know, being competitive, you know, getting a one up on somebody. But to me, sometimes that Five of Swords is also putting yourself first. And I feel like you are putting yourself first here. Yeah, you are putting yourself first. I mean, at this time, I feel like you're finding a lot of peace here, okay, and stability. You know, I feel like, you know, whatever you've been through here with the Empress card, I feel like it's been very, very, very hard. But I also feel like you're definitely coming out at the at the other end of this here, okay? The Empress here, Libra, Taurus, Energy, and the Four of Swords. With the Empress and the Emperor, I'm just getting a sense of, a, 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 of you guys having a good balance between your feminine and your masculine energies here too, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles here and the Three of Wands, you guys are definitely working towards, a, you know, a new future here. Yeah, I, I do feel like you guys are definitely working on moving on here. Let's see, Ace of Pentacles here. And the Six of Swords, yeah. So there's a sense of moving on. There's a sense of moving towards calmer waters here. You know, I feel like that baggage is getting lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter for you guys. Uh, because like I said, you guys are actively going within and working on releasing that baggage, okay? So so there's nothing to pick up that baggage claim, okay? Uh, so we have the Lovers here and the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles here and the Six of Cups. I mean, you're definitely letting go of like some past relationships here that, that, are, that are no longer serving you here too. Yeah, I, I feel like you're letting go of the past and I feel like you're trying to bring in the new here. I feel like you're trying to bring in the new here. You know, one of the things, the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're trying not to complicate things and you're just trying to accept the process, you know, of how it's unfolding. There's no resisting. There's no challenging it. You're just kind of going for, it, going along with it. And you know what? And you know what? You're like just like, you know, whatever is coming towards me. This is meant for me. This is how it's supposed to happen. You know, so this looks really good. It seems like you know maybe it's uh, maybe a horrible relationship triggered all this, and I just feel like you're on a really good path here, uh, Cancer. Okay, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.